It's been almost three months since Mauricio Macri took office, and there are already labor protests. The first measures have been to benefit the rich and not the working class. He is benefiting the mining sector, the agriculture sector, and they have hired thousands of state employees. Left-wing groups, some labor unions and social movements took to the streets on Wednesday. The government says it is trying to deal with the bad economic situation that the government of Christina Kirchner left behind. Over the last months, Macri has devaluated the Argentine peso and has fired thousands of state employees that he claims were political activists from the previous administration. Daniel Catalano says the government is firing people as an excuse to bring back Argentina's neoliberal past. They are shrinking the state and firing state employees, and then they will allow companies to do the same. Thousands of people will be laid off. This government protects companies, but not us. Wednesday protest was also a test for the government, as it is trying to gain back the control of the streets of Buenos Aires. In 2015, there was over 6,000 demonstrations in the city, and that's another thing Macri would like to see change. The government says that blocking traffic is illegal, and that's why they have put a protocol in place to prevent situations like this one. But people here say that that protocol is against their right to demonstrate, and that's why they have come here to the center of Buenos Aires to challenge the government. Alejandro Katerberg says that Macri's challenge will be to get the country's economy moving without losing popular support. He, he has very good numbers. He, the first months in office, he had he started with a 71 approval rating. This last month, he lost five points. He's in the high 60s. The challenge for Macri will be how to remain popular besides having to make all this economic transformation. The coming months promise to be difficult ones for the current government, as thousands have vowed to continue showing their anger on the streets. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.